the law firm of Michael Best presents Wonder Women in STEAM. Hi, I'm Connie Ruthven, and today I'm here with Carrie Rupp and Sarah Brand. Carrie and Sarah are co-founders of True Wealth Ventures. Ladies, thank you so much for joining me today. Would both of you mind giving me a little bit more information about your background, your education, interests, hobbies, whatever you like to do? Sure. So um, I got an undergraduate degree in biology, but then decided somehow to go into um, software and internet kind of technologies and spent about 20 years in the early stage technology industry, first starting out literally coding software modules and then actually moving into more business related roles like product management, marketing, sales, biz dev, you know, kind of every different role that you can do in sort of the front of a company um, over the course of 20 years. Um, along the path, I actually got an MBA um, to really refine my business skills, but it was always in the technology sector, so software and internet. And then around 2008, I started my first company, um, which was in the travel space, and then helped basically other startups get launched through an accelerator called Dream Adventures, where I was the CEO. And then met up with Sarah, uh, which she'll probably talk about, to launch this venture capital fund called True Wealth Ventures, focused specifically on women-led companies um, in a lot of technology kind of solution areas. And I got all three of my degrees in engineering, mechanical engineering, from a very young age. I always was interested in how things worked and how things were made. And then I shifted gears after playing more technical roles in several companies to really realize that the impact of um, that businesses made had more to do with management decisions than technical ones. And I was very interested in greening up uh, the semiconductor and technology uh, electronics industry and went to management consulting, helping companies with their top strategic management types of decisions. And from there went into venture capital, which was the perfect blend for me of using my technical background, but also helping businesses with whatever business challenges they had. And that's how I came to start True Wealth Ventures to uh, specifically invest in women entrepreneurs. Has there been anyone in your careers that have really helped guide you on this path to your career in STEAM? So I had an early mentor who was a boss at, at one of the first early stage software development companies I was at and really helped me to understand the process of problem solving, which is a big part of what happens in technology companies, is understanding what the customer need is and how you're going to go solve it and how you, you know, sort of go through the process of that. And he really helped guide me and grow me into my role. And so I first started out in a kind of individual contributor role and then eventually started managing people. Um, and I guess what I think is important for that point is that um, it was a man. And a lot of times I think women feel like they're supposed to go find a woman mentor. Um, but given that, at least today, there's still a relative disparity of women in tech versus men, um, you don't want to only look to them for your resources. And so I was really like happy to have a really strong mentor, you know, even though he wasn't a female mentor. I did not have one mentor. Uh, my dad was a mechanical engineer, and so I think I always realized that mechanical engineering was a field of study one can pursue, <laughs> and liked it because it was the liberal arts of engineering to me, so I could try a little bit of everything, learn a little bit of everything, and leave the doors open as to what I wanted to do next. But in my career, I was very uh, lucky to be working with very senior executives from early on. And uh, so I had a lot of folks that didn't look like me, um, but that pulled me up. They were more supporters or advocates than mentors, would push me into roles, would, would give me more responsibility than I felt like I was ready to take. And I actually think that's probably more important in, um, in a career trajectory than mentors to give you advice. That's wonderful. That's amazing. Do either of you have any words of wisdom that you'd like to share um, to, to inspire or motivate the next generation of Wonder Women in STEAM? So I guess to the point I made earlier, uh, there are still being a relative disparity of women in technology careers. And until that's solved, um, you may find yourself in situations you're, where you're one or one of few women in a room, whether it's a work meeting or just a, a camp or something that's related to technology. And I just want to encourage people not to feel like they're not welcome there or they're not that they shouldn't be there, um, that there's no reason that you can't be in that room and have the confidence that you deserve to be there and, in fact, actually are probably adding more value. Um, so there's plenty of studies that show that when there are more women in team environments and actually in companies too, they, the, the team and the company 
company as a whole have better performance. And it's partly about that diversity of the way you think, the way you act, the way you lead. And so not only do you belong there, but you actually probably are making it better. So um, there's some really good work McKinsey and Company has done on uh, the power that more gender diverse teams, whether it's in technology or business, have to problem solving, to um, making businesses more successful financially. And so I think um, that leveraging your strengths and as a woman, but um, as a diverse or whatever different background you bring to the problem is really important. And so um, what I've always been encouraged to do and uh, what led me to founding this um, venture capital firm is to really think through what are your particular skills, what are your passions, and what is needed in the world. And if you can align all three of those, um, you can make the best impact and, and be very successful at what you're doing. That's wonderful. Thank you for those wonderful awards. Thank you for being here with us today. And thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. This series is brought to you by the law firm of Michael Best in collaboration with Thinkery. Get to know Austin's Wonder Women in STEAM at thinkeryaustin.org.